Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6 and welcome to another episode of Eric Meal Time. A couple of my students here at the university told me that there are some new vending machines inside a building five right here behind me. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, check it out. 7-Eleven vending machines, two of them. And somebody left me a tripod. I love this school. All right, let's see. Try to avoid the shadows here. So the rice balls up at the top there. Mm-hmm. Different types of candy, drinks in bags. What are those energy drinks? Some chocolate there, a cookie. Oh, look at this, they got salads. How awesome is that? Salads, some chicken in a bag. What is this, mixed sandwiches. And because I'm here by myself today, I'm gonna make use of this tripod that was left here. Okay, let's do this, I've got. $20, Let's see what we can get. <laughs> Hopefully it's not gonna take that much money. $10 maybe, we can do this. Okay, gotta have a rice ball. I'm gonna get my favorite tuna mayonnaise, number four. Okay, here it comes, we got Dump. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got cold inside the machine. Yeah. We've got bags here that you can just put them in. Isn't that nice? Very convenient. Okay, let's put the money in again. Another paper. Okay, what's next? 31, salad from a vending machine. This is a first, salad from a vending machine. Oh yeah. And there's also chopsticks right over here. Let me see, I gotta pan down and show you that. Right there, yeah, you see that? Salad from vending machine and chopsticks right there. Yes. There you go. Let's get a sandwich. Ham, lettuce, and cheese for 260 yen. That's about $2.50. Mm-hmm. This is boring on the tripod. Let's do some close-ups. Moving on to the second machine here. Yeah, I knew this was gonna be tricky. <laughs> okay, gotta get that. That guy, corn man is Danish, huh? Number 12. Hard to film and do this at the same time. Okay. I'm gonna try one of these drinks in a bag right there. So here's all the stuff, and I've still got 620 yen left. So this is about 13 bucks worth of stuff. I'm gonna start with the drink. Whatever this is, I can't work it out. Never seen this before, this is a first. It's, it's like a jelly or something. Grape flavored. Yeah, you should just suck it out of here, huh? It's a jelly. Oh. Well, oh, there's actually grapes in it. Wow. This is exotic. It's like a grape jello. Hey, you just suck it right out. Hmm. What? Well, it's not really that thirst quenching. <laughs> hmm. All right. I think I'm gonna go over and get a proper drink. Hang on a second. Oh no. 
look what happened. Look what happened. Oh, I wish I would have got a close up of that. Look, I paid for it, but I didn't get it, huh? Oh, so delicious. Ready to buy another one? Hmm. Wow, just lost a dollar. They're phoning up the company right now, 7 Eleven, I guess, and we'll see how soon it is before they come and get it. Yeah. I guess I could just buy another one, but whatever. I got all this to eat anyway, so it's okay. I'm gonna be here for a little while. Oh. This is weird, to say the least. Grape jello in a bag. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, let's start with, oh, I don't know, where do we start? The salad, of course. First time I've ever gotten salad out of a vending machine. Huh. It's nice that the cleaning staff here is going to be the one. She's the one that's helping me out. She's doing all the, the work for contacting them. Since I'm busy eating for you guys. <laughs> eating for me and you. Yeah. It's a team effort here on the Eric Surf 6 channel. Okay, so this salad comes with dressing. This is wafu, Japanese dressing. A lot of goodies on here. This is a seaweed salad. Yeah, oh, I'll get some of that. This is a healthy salad. Yeah. Oh, 10 minutes. Thank you. 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 Thank Okay, the camera's a bit far away, so I'm going to be doing this every so often to give you guys a close-up, okay? Seaweed salad. Don't knock it till you try it. Only in Japan. Mm. Mm, so good. The dressing's really tangy. Japanese wafu dressing. Comes with a cherry tomato, cherry tomato. You say tomato, I say tomato. Broccoli even. And then it's got some daikon, it's got some onions, it's got some corn. And dark leafy lettuce. Mm-hmm. That was a delicious salad. So what's going to be next? I think we'll go with the ham, cheese, and lettuce sandwich. Ham and cheese and a lot of lettuce. Heavy, heavy on the lettuce. I like that. Yeah, this is a very standard Japanese sandwich. The crust has been cut off. Very standard. Yeah, about two dollars, and it's got mayo on it. Mm-hmm. It's so nice because it's cold, refrigerated. This is, this is the way to eat a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Man, I wish I had something to drink. I guess I could just buy another one, but I'm gonna wait for the guy and see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, this stuff, I tell you, it's for the birds. <clears throat> tweet, tweet. Mm. The ham, cheese, and lettuce, definitely a quality sandwich. Okay, next up, let's do something different. I've never had this before from a vending machine. This is chicken in a bag. <laughs> yes. There was two types in the machine, and... This is the herb type. The other, I think, is just plain. So, herb chicken. My hands are all greasy. Oh, 7 Eleven. No me mono up.
大丈夫、うん、ありがとうすいませんてくださいありがとうございましたああ、oh, that was quick that was quick oh, this is jasmine tea from 7-eleven themselves yeah not bad okay let's get to the herb chicken It's just a big piece of chicken. Look at this. Yeah, it's, that's hefty. Chicken breast. A bit on the dry side. Hmm. Mm. The herbs are a bit weak. It's a good piece of meat, though. I'll tell you. If you slice this up, put it on bread, mm -hmm, you'd have yourself a killer sandwich. Next up is the rice ball. This is tuna mayonnaise. Yep. There you go. Just like that. Look at all the filling. Out of all the convenience stores in Japan, I believe 7 Eleven gives you the most filling. Bargain. Mm. Man, that tuna is creamy. Next up is going to be the corn and mayonnaise Danish. Hello. If you haven't had one of these before, definitely put it on your bucket list. Look at all that corn, creamy goodness. Yeah, and the way I do it, you just make it into a sandwich. Makes it nice and neat. Mm hmm. Oh, sweet. Mm hmm. Oh, so good. It's like a dessert, it's so sweet. Sweet corn. The mayonnaise is more of a cream. Mm -hmm. Dessert-like, but not, not exactly dessert. Does that make sense? It's not that sweet. Mm -hmm. I mean, these machines are popular, I'm telling you. 7-Eleven's got something going on here. How about America 7-Eleven? Why don't you guys do some of these, huh? Next up, we're gonna have some of the potato chips. Potato chips in a cup. Mm -hmm. And they're shaped like french fries. Here's what they look like. Mm-hmm. Crunchy. Just like potato chips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's weird because this is salad flavor. It tastes nothing like a salad. It tastes like a salted potato chip. But it's good. The crunchiness they've got down. This is the number one chip maker in Japan, Karabi. So give them a try, for sure. They've got a lot of different flavors, different types of chip consistencies, brands. Good, good, good. Okay, and last but not least is the melon pond. Oh, this smells amazing. Oh boy, it's just like it came out of the oven. But see how, they call it melon pond because it looks like a melon, or a half a melon, I should say. Right, very popular in Japan. They sell them everywhere. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> mm. It's like it's sweet on the bottom, mm -hmm. and this like the crust, and then it's you know really fluffy on the inside, and then again, sweet on the top, like powdered sugar. No, it's granular sugar. Mm. Looks like a melon, but doesn't taste like a melon. It's more like sugar cinnamon, perhaps? A little bit of cinnamon? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, this jasmine tea for a dollar is a bargain. I just finish it all up. Mm -hmm. There's only one thing left on the table. Can you see it? It's right here. It's a toothpick. 
And this comes inside of the chopsticks case. Yeah, that's right. Very handy. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna clean my teeth in front of you guys. I'm just, just gonna say that here it is. I'll do that later. Manners, excuse me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and rate this meal. 7-Eleven vending machine lunch. I'm gonna call this, I think. I'm pretty blown away. 7-Eleven really, they're the kings when it comes to convenience stores in Japan. And now they've got vending machines in, well, this is a university. I don't know where else they are. This is the only two that I've seen so far. But I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to seeing more of them. The food is really, really fresh. It's refrigerated, really cold, tastes delicious. But then again, it's still just convenience store food, okay? So I don't know why people get so excited about convenience stores in Japan because they're different, I don't know. But I've just been here a long time, so I'm used to it. So on my ranking scale of one to six air cans, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this video, I mean this meal, it's a meal. Well, it's also a video. I'm gonna give it a four, it's a gnome, yeah, okay? It was good, it was fresh, the value was there. Convenience store food from a vending machine. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. And I'll, as always, I like reading your comments below. So thanks for participating down there in the feed, okay? We will see you guys in the next Eric Mealtime. They're twice a week here on the Eric Surf 6 channel. And that's gonna do it for this one. Eric out. I've got a riddle for you. How do you escape from a room with no doors or windows? There's only a table and a mirror in the room. Here's how it goes. You look in the mirror, you see what you saw. You take the saw, you saw the table in half. Two halves make a hole, you crawl out the hole, and you're out.